Even if you never specialize in finance, it helps to know the three basic financial statements companies use to describe their operations. If you hope to work for a public company, this data is available on the internet and will help you research the financial health of a future employer before you apply. Private companies and nonprofits also produce these statements. Private companies typically don't release them to the public, but many nonprofits do. There are three main types of financial statements balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. We're going to offer a very brief overview here, but if you haven't taken a basic finance class, it's a good idea so you can see how these concepts work in a variety of industries. Let's start with the balance sheet. A balance sheet summarizes an organization's assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity at a particular point in time. The purpose? To give shareholders, customers, and employees an idea of what the organization owns and owes, as well as the amount invested by the shareholders. It's called the balance sheet for a reason. Take a look at this equation. Both sides of this equation have to balance. That's where the name balance sheet comes from. The balance sheet itself contains a lot of extra detail, and it's important to see how the numbers add up. Let's say we're looking at the results of a public company. If the company's liabilities are very high and owner's equity is small, investors may worry the company won't be able to pay its bills on time. On the other hand, if liabilities are small, investors might want to know why the company isn't borrowing more money to accelerate its growth. For nonprofit organizations, the balance sheet is known as the Statement of Financial Position, and you'll see different financial terminology because profit isn't the motive. If you're taking a basic finance course, you'll learn how financial reporting differs for for-profit and non-profit organizations in greater detail, and it really will help you for the rest of your career. Let's look at the income statement next. The income statement contains the most critical piece of information people want to know about an organization, whether it's making money. At a company, the income statement begins with an explanation of its revenues also called sales, and its total expenses. And when total expenses are subtracted from revenues, the result is either a net profit or a net loss. You'll also hear people in business refer to the income statement as the P&L statement, short for profit and loss. While revenues are relatively uncomplicated, essentially it's the inflow of cash from goods or services sold, expenses are generally a little more complex. For example, there are different kinds of expenses. Variable expenses depend on what you have to spend to sell more product. Fixed expenses have to be paid independently of any business activity, even if a company doesn't sell a single product in a given month. It will still have to pay for things like rent and salaries. And depending on the size and complexity of the company or organization, revenue and expenses may fall into a few or dozens of categories. The computation is still the same. Subtract the expenses from the revenue and you'll get a gain or a loss. Let's move on to the cash flow statement. Cash flow is one of the most important concepts we can learn in business or in our personal finances. It's the same for organizations and people. Those with cash on hand are able to invest cash back into the business or their personal finances to generate more cash and profit. When revenue dries up, either in the form of products sold or personal income, financial machinery starts to break down. You can't pay your bills and you can't invest in your future. That's why the cash flow statement is such a critical piece of data. Everyone needs to know how much money is coming in the door at all times and if it can continue to support operations, expenses, and hopefully, growth. In some ways, the cash flow statement is similar to the income statement, or P&L. What's different is that the cash flow statement tracks the actual timing of payments so managers can see precisely when cash is coming into the business and going out. So let's review. The three main financial statements, the balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement are important tools that managers need to understand the health of their organization. You'll find that these three basic statements are really just the simplest reports organizations use to keep track of their finances. The tools behind these reports can be very complex, but understanding these three statements and what they show are the best starting point to learn about what it takes to keep companies or nonprofits alive. Now that we've covered all the major organizational departments, we're going to conclude this series by taking one last look at how companies begin, grow, and end. It's called the business life cycle.